Hi everyone, it's January 6, 2010. I'm Dwight Schmuck. This is the Schmuck Look. And we're going to talk about a couple of things today. Bombers and bankers. And, you know, they're very similar. They cause a lot of destruction. And we're going to talk about this. You know, number one, of course, is the the known, the nutcase who tried to detonate his package flying into Detroit. <laughs> okay, Detroit, Motor City, Rock City, all that. But Detroit, really? Okay, I think you'd make more of a statement going to New York or D.C. or even Lauderdale. Detroit, not so much, but let's think about this. You know, there were plenty of dots to connect. It was just a a bunch of people in our alleged intelligence community who failed to connect any dots. This guy's father turned him in to us. You know, walked into the U.S. Embassy over in Nigeria and said, look, the kid here is a Fruit Loop and he's on to something or on something and, you know, hey, you, you better, you know, watch him. He's on a watch list and he's coming through Nigeria from Yemen and all this other stuff and nobody notices that, you know, he goes to the Denmark or somewhere and gets on a plane to come here. Well, they noticed it, but nobody did anything. You know, like, check him out. My God, he's on a watch list. That doesn't mean just, you know, uh, yeah, hey guys, he's coming here. It means, okay, he's coming here. Pat his ass down. You would do the, you, you searched Al Gore, for God's sake. You've searched 90-year-old grandmothers with walkers. This guy is a known nutcase. His family said he's a nutcase. You did nothing. Intelligence community? I got a quick question. Who got fired for this? Bomber 2, the nutcase over in Afghanistan or wherever the hell it was, who blew up the CIA headquarters, Pakistan, I guess it was. This guy's turning into, you know, he's not just James Bond. He's like four or five of them wrapped up together. He's working for this side, working for that side, working for the, over here, over there, over the, And nobody searched him either. Somehow or other, there's a lot of people here who really need to share a lot of blame and step up to the plate and say, you know, this was my fault, here's my resi. And I mean resignation, not resume. Here's my resi, we'll see you. Sorry about that. I screwed up, and I screwed up real bad. But I'm thinking, you know, that's probably not going to happen in today's world where nobody can ever be wrong. Now, you'll have to excuse me here for a second. I've got to, you know, take some stuff down so I can get to this next point. Uh, I had a comment about the last one I did about the thing about uh, the Landis Bank and, and I save and, you know, bankers and politicians. And we're going to talk about this again because the, the president or the prime minister of Iceland vetoed the bill. Bless his heart. He listened to the people's will. And these people were saying, why should we, us working people, who didn't cause any of this, they allowed these executives in the United Kingdom and in Denmark or you know some such a place, <coughs> and we can't bail ourselves out because we lost in this too. But we got to bail these guys out hundreds and thousands of miles away. Why? And you know that's a really again you know it's because if. These guys are all in it together, folks. They really are. And again, you know, the bombers and the bankers do equal destruction. One is just overt. The bomber, his goes boom, and you know, bits and pieces fly everywhere. The banker, when he's going boom, 
It's your lives that go into bits and pieces, but they don't, you know, they just go to bits and pieces. You lose it all, but not through an explosion. Nobody. Why should these guys get off scot-free? They cover themselves because to admit this guy over here with his scheme and all that stuff, because, you know, he found a neat little way to suck money out of more money that was allegedly making money. And the key word there was suck. And I'm addressing, going to address this now to Reykjavik One Boy, who wrote, he, he put a comment on that last one. You dumbass, I save is not a fucking bank. The bank is Lands Banking, and I save is their accounts in the UK. And I'm going to try to pronounce this correctly. Prevent our help. You need help. I've been called worse by, you know, Said had had worse said about me by better Reykjavik one boy, and you know that was a direct quote. Call it what you want to. Okay, their accounts, and that should have been T H E I R. Learn how to spell. Try that. Learn your grammar. That's a good boy, Reykjavik one boy. That's a good boy. Call it what you want. It's part of the bank. It's the bank. It's a bank. Their accounts, wherever, it's part of the bank. Some guy figured out a way that he said was going to make all these people a lot of money. And they were, of course, sucking some of that money coming in off the top. And as long as it was coming in and they were doing, you know, all the, it worked out. But the moment it started to fall apart, it fell apart big time. Now, the Icelandic people have said, why should we bail these guys out for making poor decisions that affected their people when we can't bail ourselves out? I agree with that. It's time for all these guys who stood in line and said, this is a great idea. You guys step up to the plate now. Admit you were wrong just for a change of base. But you can't do that. Because you probably won't get a bonus for that, will you? Folks, have a great weekend. Have a great week. I'm Dwight Schmuck. That's the Schmuck Look. Peace, everyone.